Hey, how's it going everybody? Flinger Foo here, and you know what? I'm messing around with some PG arcs again. Alright, um, one of my subscribers asked, Hey, um, it's been a while since I did a video on uh, procedurally generated arcs, and you know what? I have to agree with them. And I'm always messing around with this stuff. I, lo I love uh, procedural generation. Tronodon, you're in my shot. Oh, hey, good shot, buddy. Dude, you just kicked me in the butt. Really? Really? But yeah, I'm hanging out on this beach, you know, chilling out, getting some rays. Um, yeah, I mean, so, uh, this right here is one of the ones. I've been messing around with a few. I will show you the settings here in a little bit. Um, but yeah, there's a couple things I want to test out. Um, and then we're going to, uh, enable spectator. Alright. And we're gonna fly up here. And we're gonna take a look at a few things. Um, this island is... That's kind of an anomaly. <laughs> All right, but hey, um, let's get over here. And and when you're uh, previewing your uh, um, procedural generated arcs, just enable spectator, and then you can press the forward key and then shift, and then you'll move super fast. And then you can fly through everything. You don't have to breathe. You don't have to nothing. But yeah, um, and there's a couple things I've been messing around with because one, I'm trying to get the uh, redwoods. I'm always trying to get the redwoods just perfect. Um, so where they're just nice and full and lush, but spread out enough so where you can get a nice building area in there. And then, um, the hills, I'm always trying to go for nice rolling hills with lots of, uh, dinos, lots of, uh, cool places to build. And then now I'm actually adding in a few different things, um, because I want to see what it would be like to have plesiosaurs on your beach. Yes, and Moses and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, you notice that uh, these guys right here, they're no longer in the deep sea. They're in the shallows, which is a thing I'm kind of experimenting with a little bit. Uh, I've seen a couple pleasies that come up. Right now, I have my deep sea set at, uh, I think, point two. So, yeah. Um, but the, with the only downside is I have to reduce the amount of oil and stuff that's in the sea to nothing. Which kind of sucks. Uh, I wish they would break apart those uh, settings. Because right now, in order to not have the uh, giant coral reefs jutting out of the, um, out of the sea, you have to turn down the oil and the um, pearls and stuff like that to zero, to nil. Which really sucks. Uh, which I, means I don't think I have any pearl spawns on this island um we'll we'll mess around with that in this episode we will and we'll see if we can get it to where it's uh manageable all right um and then another thing let's go take a look over here let's see how the mountains are and then also the snow biome because those are important as well and i like these jungles this jungle right here this is a nice jungle nice and full and yeah this is kind of cool i'm digging that then breaks out into the Bronto Plains. Yeah, that's kind of cool. All right, let's see. Do we have any pearls down in this lake? Because the lakes are treated differently than the deep water. You guys seeing any? There's a Spino. Uh, no, I'm not seeing any pearls. That could be a big problem. All right, so, and then here's the uh, frost biome. I don't like the way it's just a solid line right along the edge. You know, it goes from grass into that, but, you know, it, it's okay. It's serviceable. It's doable. Um, just a little suspension of uh, belief, you know, reality. <laughs> I'm sure everybody goes through that a little bit. All right, I know I do. And so, yeah, but I uh, increased the size a little bit of the snow biome, but not by much. Here, let's take a look from the air. Yeah, see, look at this. I mean, it's not that big, but you know, it's all right. It is all right. And see, yeah, right here, there's pleasies right on the beach. It's kind of cool. Hey, Mr. Pleasies. All right, so, hey, let's um, back up to the settings. Let's go uh, alter a few things and see if we can get a nice rounded arc that we can actually have pearls and stuff on, but we can get the uh, mountains. Oh, there's one thing here. One sec. Uh, where's a mountain? Let me show you the problem that I'm having with this current one, the main problem. Yeah. Um, let me get over there. It's over inside here. I have a big blending of the redwood trees and regular trees right there. 
and then the mountains where the redwood blends with the mountain i have a, a stone problem so yeah let's get up here get some elevation going come up here see look at this the stones just start really getting massive i mean look at this yeah, it's, it's just a boulder field. This is actually toned down from a couple that I've had. A couple of them, they were just wall-to-wall -wall stone. The, the, the ground was just nothing but stone. And we're going to try to tone that down a little bit. Hey, Allosaurus. Hey. Ah. All right, so, um, yeah, we're going to try to tone that down a little bit in this next one that we generate. And I will see you guys back on the uh, PG server settings. All right, see you guys in a bit. All right, so back on the settings page, and there's one thing I really need to bring to everyone's attention. Um, let me read this warning aloud, just so where you guys are aware. The procedurally generated ARC system is currently highly experimental, and when they say highly experimental, they mean it. Your saved procedurally generated ARCs will necessarily be wiped in subsequent updates as the dynamic algorithms are further developed. We only recommend using the system at this present time if you're willing to accept the frequent clearing of your procedurally generated ARC saved data. Yes, you might lose your saved data, but then again, you know, they're constantly updating it. I mean, they, they slow down a little bit as they're getting the tech tier pushed out, which is, it, it's understandable. It really is. Uh, they have a smaller team, but they have a lot on their plate, which, so, hey. All right, so here's the settings with that last arc that we just saw. So we're going to uh, mess around with this a little bit. Um, we're, we've got, um, I like the water frequency and the mountain frequency and the slope and the turbulence power, all that, all that looked good. All right, um, the water level 82, that's okay. Um, I lowered that a little bit. Um, let's see, uh, jungle grass density, jungles were perfect. Ocean floor level 1.0, okay, I'm keeping that. Uh, Deposition strength, that's all good. Um, and these right here, with this erosion level right here, um, I messed around with that a little bit. And um, uh, the last couple here, let me back up. Um, see, I, I've, I've got a few of them that I've been messing around with. And then, yeah, I also have Ragnarok here. I've been testing that one out on the side. Yeah, it, it, that's a really fun map, by the way. <laughs> um, okay, so, um, but it's not finished. And I look forward to doing a series on it when they're uh, more complete. But I just, I, I, I don't think they're ready for it now. Um, but it's coming along quite nicely. Great guys working on it too. All right, so um, back to this. Uh, the redwood biome size, I like that. The mountain st biome start, I like that. We're going to lower this mountain tree density down even further. We're going to go to 0.25. All right, it was at 0.5. So now we're going to go to 0.25 or 0.025. All right, jungle biome start. I like that. Um, I have lower jungles. I have lower mountains. So where as it comes up, I have a, biomes that intersect with each other. And I like that. Um, that it, it looks very visually appealing. And it creates a lot of uh, environments that are open to building without it being in just one biome. Which is very cool. So where you have access to different varying sorts of... Uh, um, Oh, resources as you're progressing and you're building your bases and stuff which it, it's important it's pretty good um and then let's see the redwood tree density i'm gonna lower that it's at 0. Point, or 0. 0.045 we're gonna lower that down to 0. 0.035 all right that's a big drop and i hope that doesn't break it but yeah we're gonna try that uh, grassland tree to mountain grass density Let's see. We're going to drop that down to 0 0.20. That was at 0 0.3. We're going to drop that down to 0 0.02. All right. Uh, snowgrass density, jungle tree density, uh, shore tree density. Those are all good. Um, let's see. Uh, shoreline start offsets. That I don't like. Those shores right there, they're my perfect beaches. I love those. I love the beaches that I'm able to generate in this. Um, snow mountain tree density, that one's good. Underwater object density. See, I have this at zero. So let's go with 0 0.01 and see, you know, we'll just slightly turn that on and see what we can get with that. Um, inland water, deep sea water biome depth. See this right here? It's at 0.02. And that's how you get pleasies super close to the beach. 
It's very cool. <laughs> I like that idea. All right, and so let's go with, uh, let's name this one uh, Test 2. And then let's host this little sucker up, and I'll see you guys on the other side. All right, see you then. All right, so now we're here with Bob. And uh, let's take a look. Um, okay, so we only have one. And then it, you'll notice that on the settings, I had increased the uh, survivor spawn from uh, um, 0 0.1 to 0 0.2. That way there, there's a higher elevation that you can spawn at. Um, that way there, it usually frees up a little of this. I don't want it to be too drastic, but, you know, hey. All right, so let's go take a look. Let's go see how this one looks. I really like the grass. But then again, that's just arc. All right. All right. Yeah, see, and this is the problem. We turned that on, and now we have seaweed coming out of the, uh, of the, the sea. <laughs> Alright, so, yeah, see this right here. And this is the problem with all that. I mean, yeah, we end up, we do get you know, resources that spawn in here, but we have uh, funky uh, jungles down here now. Um, so let's see, is there any silica pearl? Oh, and this right here, this is what I was trying to avoid. Yeah, this stuff right here, the coral coming out of the, of the water. Huh. See, that just won't fly. All right, but let's go take a look at the uh, uh, rocks up on the... <laughs> that looks funky. <laughs> it's just a big coral tooth. All right. <laughs> oh, that's funny looking. Oh, yeah. yeah, see, that's with, you know, turning it up to one. Yeah. All right, so let's go take a look at our rocks up in the mountainy, redwoody, jungly biome. All right, there's that. All right, we it cut down on the amount of rocks, which is good. That's a big plus. I think, I think this is manageable. This is this is quite manageable, um, as compared to what it was. Yeah, this is much better. Now, how much metal do we have? Is that metal right there? No, there's metal right here. Okay, yeah. So we do have metal. Um, let's go over to the snow biome. We have crystal right there. Let's go over to the snow biome. All right, here's a big thing of rocks, but you know what? That's actually not too bad. Um, let's go over to the snow biome. I know this is the third time I've said that. And we'll see uh, how much uh, obsidian we have over there. All right. Let's come over here and let's pop our head into this lake over here. Yeah, this looks really good. And this is a really big, sizable landmass. And see, that's what you have to do in order to get a really big landmass. I mean, you can go for smaller islands by lowering the, uh, um, oh, lowering um, the settings, like I covered in one of my earlier ones. But if you bring up the, uh, uh, if you bring down the water, it brings up the bottom of the sea, so where you'll have those big teeth coming out of the, uh, of the water. All right, so let's. See, do we see any obsidian over here? Because that's one of the things we kind of need for an island to be self-sufficient. I see none. Yeah, I'm not seeing any. No obsidian. What about over here on this one? All right, see, this right here, that, oh, uh, no, never mind. <laughs> I was going to say, see that one right there? That looks manageable. It looks serviceable. No, it's not. All right, um, come over like this. All right, so maybe we'll just drop the water level a little bit. 
and see what we can do because that uh, dropping the water or raising up the water level a little bit that'll bring down the mountains a little bit which will cut off more obsidian which means we'll have to raise up the mountain level a little bit just to compensate so where we'll get that obsidian all right so let's do that um i will see you guys back on the creation screen and see you in a minute all right so back here on the creation screen i've already uh now, this was at 0.51. Um, I raised that up to 0.71. All right. So that'll give us a little bit higher mountains. And then hopefully we'll be able to see that obsidian. Um, <clears throat> the ocean uh, floor level or the ocean, the water level was at 0.82. It was like that. And I raised it up to 0.88. Um, yeah, I know my mind's going so fast. I had to get those things in there and uh, hitting record. You know, it just wasn't, you know, I, I had to make those changes before I did anything else. All right. So, um, and then... Um, the mountain grass density, no, that should be fine. Um, we're going to see a varying, you know what, let's try a different seed. Let's go with, uh, I've had good experiences with 19. 19 was pretty good. It was decent. Um, let's see what we can get here. You know what? Let's raise this mountain by mountain height up a little bit more. Let's go to 81. I want to have taller mountains. All right, let's go with test three. And I will see you guys on the other side, all right? And we're back, and this time we're Joe. All right, so let's see. Uh, yeah, same uh, thing. Um, let's just create a new survivor. Come down here. Spawns us in right here on the edge. Alright. Alright, so... Spino, right next to where we spawn. Alright. Alright, so let's come up here. Let's go... Take a look at... The Redwood. I like this Redwood. This is... This is nice. Um, it's a... Except for this little spot right here. I have to take a look at this up. Um, well, that's a straight line. There are no straight lines. Unless Johnny Appleseed's been through here. All right. Let's see. Um, it's all straight lines. Huh. All right. I might have to turn up the, uh, uh, the turbulence. Yeah, I think I will. Um, but yeah, let's take a look at these oceans and see how they turned out. And let's take a look at our mountains as well. Let's take a look at the mountains first, because they're what's more important to me. I don't like the straight lines, though. Everything's in a big straight line, and that that's the turbulence, right? Yeah. So, are there any mountains? Yeah, there's one over here. All right. I turned up the mountain size, or the mountain height, so we should have some higher mountains. Alright, getting over here. Should start seeing some metal soon. If not, then we have a big problem. I don't see any metal. That is a problem. All right, let's fly up high. There are no mountains on this. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. This right here is the highest peak. So that means there should be some metal here. I think it's because I turned up the mountain height while keeping the uh the mountain start point at the same point so where the mountains acts the mountain spawns higher than it's allowed then <clears throat> the mountain start is higher than the mountain level is allowing it so where we basically just have no mountain biome so we cut ourselves off, or I cut myself off, and yeah. 
See all the sources, though. That's a plus. Um, yeah, all right. Let's see how big of a land base we have. How big is this island? Well, you're all right. It's an all right size. All right, so let's go take a look at the uh, water. And see if we have any of those big giant teeth coming out of there. <clears throat> I'm down here. Zoom past this Bronto. What about over here? Any metal? None. None. Hey, supply crate. Yay. I'm not seeing any metal. None. All right, we'll have to change that in the next iteration. Okay, and we still have this. All right, so, yeah. That's still a problem. We have oil, though, which is a plus, which means there are pearls out here somewhere. You just have to find them. All right, I think we're going to have to hit the reset button and uh, mess around with a little bit of stuff. But yeah, all right, so I will see you guys back on the creation screen. All right, so back here, I did hit the reset button, reset to default, but I went through and I changed a few things. Um, the, uh, what is it, uh, the mountain trees, um, oh, the s snow biome size made it smaller, redwood biome size made it larger, um, the uh, density, stuff like that, uh, cross-check them with these settings right here, and I think we might be able to come up with something good. It, this is pretty close to default, but, and then I want to change this to 7.5. All right, so where it makes it, the area location is a little bit bigger, so it's going to stretch out that redwood biome just a bit. All right, so let's go with uh, test four, and let's see what we can do, because I... I have a good feeling about this one, I'm thinking, and also I changed the max spawn um, height to uh, 0.2. Alright, so I'll see you guys again on the other side, alright? See you then. Alright, Bob, let's see what we can do. Promising start. And I have a feeling we're gonna have uh, higher mountains and more smaller islands. All right, so this is kind of cool, and this is on map C999, right? Um, all right, so this is kind of cool. Um, I like the way there's some sheer cliffs, but it looks still accessible from the ground, except for those stegos falling. All right, um, I kind of like that. Let's take a look at how big of a landmass we actually have. Um, that's all right, actually. Um, we'll take a look at the redwood, see if we cut it down. Um, the mountains. Well, there's metal. That's a big plus. There's a giga. All right. Let's see. Mountain tree, dodicarus. Yeah, this right here, this is a, well, you can kind of get up to there. All right, uh, let's take a look at the deep sea, see how that one looks. All right, so here's this. There is oil in there. There's a ray. Uh, it's not deep enough to get down to the deep sea. Okay, let's see. All right, now there's the start of that. Okay. Spine our way down. Is this just not deep enough? Okay. Where are we? We're at the snow biome? Yes. All right. I also want to take a look at the snow biome. And then we'll have to take a look on the other side 
of this uh, snow biome to see if we can get down into the deep sea area because this looks pretty promising um see sometimes you just have to reset to default and then use your knowledge that you've gained from tinkering to go back and adjust things as you see fit which turns out to be quite helpful quite a bit at times all right there's some obsidian that's a big plus right there all right so we have obsidian there's more right there all right um i like that kind of flyer ledge uh, if you uh enable the mod on this map right here to enable uh scorched earth dinos with wyverns flying around that would be really cool all right so let's get over here in this deep sea oh i like that island with the drop coming down on it oh that's kind of cool all right, there's Pelagormus. Oh, that's going down in the sea. Oh, <laughs> that's kind of kooky. Oh, no, it's right there on the island. All right. Let's come down in here. And then you have to be careful with spectator mode because you can actually go outside the border. All right, here we go. All right, now we've got some deep sea. That's good stuff. That's what I was looking for. Deep sea, where it should be. But the idea of having moses and stuff on your beach that was kind of cool i i like that idea but in order to do that you have to cut off your uh pearl and uh oil spawns which really really sucks i wish they would separate those two um all right but this is a very playable island um the mountains look like real mountains the beaches look like real beaches and of course i reset you know my beaches to uh the regular settings that I always go with because I just think they, they look fuller. They look better. They look uh, more like a beach. So, yeah. And it took me a long time to get to that, <laughs> those, beat, those perfect beat settings. Oh, now this is kind of cool. That's neat. I like that. I like that a lot. And there's a purple drop coming down over there. If you built over there, you'd be set. Although it'd be really hard because you wouldn't have enough resources. But that would be a challenge. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. All right. Let's go take a look at the Redwood. I'm going to work my way over there and I'll bring you guys back as soon as we're there. Now, now this is kind of cool. There's some deep sea area right here, right below the Redwood area. And there's this tree right here that you could put just an awesome tree house on. And overlook this deep sea biome. This is kind of cool. And it just goes right out like that. That's neat. That's really neat. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, let's come over here. Let's take a look at the fullness of the uh, redwood biome. Because that's a big thing. Because the default settings on the redwood biome, they're not that great. They make it so where your redwood biome is just not, it, it's not playable. All right, um, yeah, this looks really good. The trees are nice and spread out. There's lots of uh, foliage on the ground. That looks nice. All right, yeah, I think this is this is a lot more of a winner. Um, yeah, I like this setting. I like this setting a lot. That's pretty cool. You could play a full series on this game. This is kind of cool, or on this map. All right, so hey... Uh, today we experimented a little bit with uh, different settings, different stuff like that. We found an arc that works, that works well. It looks good. Um, and then if you wanted to, you could mess around with the seed, figure out which one you want, use the settings however you see fit. Um, I post the settings so people can either use the settings I use or go off the um, settings that uh, I use and make whatever. Or, you know, that's the idea. So, hey, um, yeah, if you liked the video, if it helped you out at all, click that like button. I really appreciate that. Oh, this is cool. Oh, this is nice. I like this spot. Um, if I were to uh, redo this one, I would turn up the beech tree density just a smidgen. Like, 0 .0... 0 .0... one. Yeah. And then redo it. But other than that, this thing looks really good. Uh, you need more beech trees. 
But other than that, this looks great. Oh, I like that tree up there all alone at top of the mountain. Oh, that is nice. That's cool. All right, so hey, um, until next time, this is Flinger Foo. And take it easy, everyone.